Hello everyone and welcome to a video that I am so excited to finally film here. I guess it's one of those things that I could have just done it with each wave that happened but I kind of wanted to do a mega unboxing here. I don't know. I always forget that sometimes less is more and my mind just says no. More is more. And then it just it's too late and I've got an hour long video. But uh, Pokirev, I have been watching him for years and years now, pretty much, I would say I found him like maybe like six months after he started his channel, kind of, you know, when the big boom was happening with Pokemon cards. I loved being able to see all of the old sets that I missed out on, you know, after I had stopped collecting cards and whatnot. So all of the EX series and the different Diamond and Pearl series, black and white, that kind of stuff. I just loved being able to see booster boxes of that getting opened. So his was the channel I went to. And if there's ever going to be a chance at me being able to open an actual vintage pack of cards, it is through the Pokerev Mega Bonus Packs. These are the only way. I'll never be able to be like, I'm gonna drop a thousand plus dollars on an EX Deoxys pack. Like, I will never. I don't think that's actually one of the choices that could be in one of these packs, but I missed out on some of the drops of these packs, and I think now that people have had more of a chance to get them, they're a bit easier to grab if you are on, like, the mailing list and whatnot, and so I've been able to grab the past few drops, so I haven't been cheating. I have been getting just my two that you are allowed to get with each drop but as I said I've gotten a few of the drops so I've got six of these packs to open up with you guys they're gonna have six packs of cards in each one of these six times six we've got 36 packs of cards to open that's a whole booster box I didn't realize I did that but basically you're gonna get five sword and shield era packs and then you're gonna get a mystery pack and depending on what color your mystery pack is that is gonna make up what your sixth pack is so if you get a green you're gonna get another sword and shield era pack and if you get a gold that's the one we want that's a wizards of the coast or diamond and pearl era i would freak but even like a silver to get a black and white era or even a red x and y sun and moon like there are some great great packs that we can get and even you know i've seen plenty openings where he'll drop a new wave of these and you know he'll open a bunch of them for people on his channel to show what comes in the packs and people will get a green but they get an alt art so like we could still do amazing here so i am gonna crack these open as i said i am all sorts of nervous and excited to do so even if I can pull one silver or gold, like my chances are not great. You know, everyone's got the same odds here. But like, if I could out of these six pull a silver or gold, that would be incredible. However, as I said, I would still be extra excited if I can just pull cards that I don't already have, which is the majority being alt arts and full arts and that kind of stuff. But like it happens. I've seen it happen. And I wrote little numbers on, I don't know if anyone can actually see that, but just so that I can see. Cause I wanna know, did I get lucky in this first wave? Did I get lucky in the second wave? Did I get lucky in the third? I just, I don't know. I, I like knowing these things. So let's go ahead and open this up. <laughs> We're starting off good, you guys. It's not anything crazy. It's not going to be a silver or gold, but I did get a red pack. That's exciting. I mean, I would love Unbroken Bonds, Unified Minds, Cosmic Eclipse. There are good options here. Let's see what the packs are that I got. Otherwise, we got a Battle Styles, Brilliant Stars, Chilling Rain, Astral Radiance, and Fusion Strike. Makes sense. And then, as I said, we have got... I got a red pack, that's exciting. I mean, truly, with my luck, I was pretty much expecting to get nothing but greens. So this is exciting to be able to open something even, you know, as old as X and Y. Or Sun and Moon, where I was getting back into opening cards, but I was also still, you know, my money I was putting in other places and not in Pokemon cards. So like, I would have loved looking back to have opened more Unified Minds and stuff where I was getting back into cards, but I didn't end up buying any, like, you know, Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna save this. I'm saving this. 
I want to see what I got. I want to see what I got <laughs> out of all of these. And then we'll have it set up and we can open it. So let's see. What do you guys think? Okay, we've got the green, as I kind of expected. <laughs> But that's okay. Let's see. Did we get anything different? We did. We've got Vivid Voltage, Brilliant Stars, Chilling Rain, Astral Radiance, and Fusion Strike. Okay. And then, as I said, we got a green tier. So in the first wave, I got a green and a red. All right. Oh yeah, my apologies. He also puts a little Pokey Rev sticker in these. I was just so excited to see that red pack on the first one. <laughs> Okay, so exciting. We will open those up in a minute. Now let's see what we got in wave two. Let's see. I mean, it wasn't like the actual wave one, wave two stuff that he has done the drops of. It was just my first wave that I got and then my second. Okay, I think I saw another green. Yes, we did get another green. Let's see what we got in here. Ooh, Evolving Skies, exciting. Fusion Strike, Brilliant Stars, Chilling Rain, and Darkness Ablaze. Okay, okay. I still am one of the unlucky ones that has not pulled a Charizard VMAX. <laughs> Out of how many packs of Darkness of Blaze have I opened in my life? Um, maybe today will be the day. And then we've got our green pack. So that's okay. That's okay. <sighs> Let's see. Anything else? Can we get a silver or gold? That would be incredible. I can't cry. I can't cry. You guys, like I said, I like, <laughs> I don't, I could save up money and like buy old packs and stuff, but I don't. And so to be able to do this, oh my God. Okay. So we got Chilling Rain, Brilliant Stars, Fusion Strike, another Evolving Skies and another Vivid Voltage. Oh god is it just gonna be getting better and better i got the red i got the silver can i get a gold i don't want to be greedy i don't want to be greedy oh, i'm just like in shock okay we got a green expected totally fine let's see did i get a celebrations at all i know that is a possibility i don't need a celebrations i just finally uh bought so i've got my i've got my full set uh we've got lost origin chilling rain astral rain infusion strike and brilliant stars for this one um i i officially i'm pretty sure <laughs> have my master set of celebrations so i don't need any more of that oh like i need Let's see. Final one. Even if it's another red. Oh my gosh. I'm, I got lucky, you guys. Like, really lucky. I could have gotten double green out of any of these waves. And so that's actually really cool to see. Because, I mean, these are completely random. Like, he doesn't know that I run a Pokemon channel. I'm just a random nobody. <laughs> I don't even know if he's the one that packs these, you know? I think he's got people working for him at this point. We've got Lost Origin, Chilling Rain, Astral Rain, Fusion Strike, Vivid Voltage. Okay, so pretty much all the same, but we've got another red pack. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm actually going to put these... I'm going to save the silver for last. I have to. Oh my god, I can't. I am in shock. I am in absolute shock. Ugh like gonna puke level of shock. So I think I've got everything set up here. Very excited. I'm a little shaky in my excitement, but I'm gonna start off with the wave one packs over here. I think I separated all of them. I don't know. I like going in chronological order. So I'm gonna start off with Vivid Voltage. I don't know exactly. I mean, I think I've worked on my Vivid Voltage binder a lot, buying singles, because a lot of them, you know, everyone was chasing the Chonkachu, Chonkachu, the Rainbow Chonkachu, and since I got lucky enough to pull that myself, um, I was like, okay, like, I don't need to go crazy buying Vivid Voltage, so I'm just gonna buy the singles, because a lot of the full arts and stuff were like a buck, three bucks, like said, when everyone was chasing the Rainbow Chonk. So I think I'm mainly just looking for full arts out of this set, and even then it might be like just random and rainbows so I don't know that I'm really looking for much of anything but it's still fun to be able to look through vivid voltage who knows maybe I've got a reverse to add to my binder that I don't already have we got a reverse trebuchet, and then we got a mudsdale for a non-hollow rare 
there. Now, Chilling Rain, obviously, the ones that I'm looking for are all darts. I, I shouldn't say obviously, but I've only pulled one of the alt arts. And at this point, after the amount of pain I have gone through with this set, <laughs> Um, the fact that I've been able to pull one, I should feel so lucky, and I do, but I would love to pull another. <laughs> and I've seen it happen with these Pokerev packs, and I mean, even I was watching a live stream today of his, and someone put in a super chat that they pulled two green packs, but each one had a alt art in them. So let's see, I know it can be done, but is it gonna be done for me? No. However, I don't pull this hollow very often. So, I mean, I'll take it. We've got the Galarian Runerigas. Does anyone know how to pronounce it? Runerigit, I don't know. But that's what I pulled. I sure did. Now, Fusion Strike. Again, a lot of what I'm needing out of here, there might be a V-card or two actually now that I'm thinking about it that I don't have. Like there's a Tyranitar V, isn't there in this set? I don't have it. Um, however, it looks like it won't be in this pack, but uh, yeah, alt arts again are really what I'm looking for from Fusion Strike. So let's see what we can get, my friends. We're just getting started. We've got a Pretty Kitty, we've got a Dark Rai, a Komia artwork, lots of good stuff here, lots of cuties. Oh, we love to see it. We have got the Flying Clay Baby, and then a non hollow rare. Is anyone surprised? I hope not. <laughs> that was that was the color code card that we pulled. So now, what was this Brilliant Stars? I do believe it was the main things out of here. Again, all darts. I'm sure V Stars. The regular Charizard V Star. Yeah, that's in this set. I haven't pulled that yet, but let's see, my friends, in Galar. <laughs> or the world wherever you are at let's see what we can do if we can pull anything good out of this first pokey rev pack let's see we have got a reverse rare fly gone and then a hollow boss's orders not what i'm looking for but technically it's a hit so i guess you know we're gonna take it we're gonna we're gonna be pleased with the fact that we were able to open these at all because really, this is an absolute treat. It really is. So, what am I opening? Astral Radiance? Yes. Let's see, my friend. It's We could get a trainer gallery. We could get a good trainer gallery. I think that's about the best I can hope for out of this pack. Let's see. I mean, I have seen people get some trash luck. In the, it's all luck, you guys, out of these packs. So let's see. We have got a reverse rare. Okay. And then we've got a mammoth swine. So, this final pack. It's a green pack, but can we just get a pack that has an alt art in it? That would be a... Okay, it's not going to happen because it's Rebel Clash, but it's Rebel Clash. Okay, I don't get to open a lot of this set, and I feel like a lot of people are sleeping on this set. I don't think it's as bad as everyone says it is, personally. I don't know. Is the full art Sonya in this one? Okay, it's not going to happen for me, but like Rebel Clash, I get excited when I see it in collection boxes. I feel like even the Pokemon Company just kind of passed right over it. Like they released it and then they forgot about it because darkness ablaze came and that's what everyone wanted but i feel like rebel clash is a cute little set i don't know i don't have any problems with it personally i mean we got a crochet metapod how can you be mad at that and then a barrascuta so our first pokey rev pack not great let's be honest i got some reverse rares and a couple of hollows <laughs> let's hope for better this time around so we've got a red pack out of this one but we do have battle styles i think this was the only battle styles i got can i get the sleeping tyranitar I, my mouth couldn't decide whether it wanted to say Titar or Tyranitar, so that's why that came out a little strange okay nope it's not happening but i had hope for a very slight second there that's okay it happens um, yeah, I don't think there's anything we can get out of here that would 
do anything for me. I mean, I'm sure there's a reverse or two that I don't have to fill out the reverse portion of my binder. I have no idea. I mean, that does go with the tea tar, but it's not the tea tar. So, wah, wah, not today. Chilling rain. Can we get an alt art? Yeah, any of them except for the one that I already have. Any of them except for the Galarian Articuno. I would be so happy. It's okay. It's okay, I'm opening up Pokemon cards. This is very exciting. I love opening up Pokemon cards, so this is very exciting. How many times can I repeat myself? But it is, I mean, you do have to remind yourself that even if you're getting trash luck, this is a treat if you're able to open up Pokemon cards at all. So we got a reverse and we got a Gallade. Cool, now, Fusion Strike. Can you do me one better than that? or multiple better than that. I think one better than a non-holo would be a holo. I don't want a holo. I want an alt art. <laughs> I know, I know, very greedy of me, but uh, oh, 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 okay, there we go. Um, I think it's time for my luck to change, my friends. I think, I'm just gonna call it, it's the alt art Gengar. <laughs> it won't be, but like, if I'm gonna ask for something, that's going to be the one that I'm asking for. So let's see what we can do behind this crochet wiggly tough cutie patootie. <sighs> I hate Grim Snarl for anyone who doesn't know. It's like one of my least favorite Pokemon along with Bruxish and those sorts of people. Pokemon, they're not people. Uh, anywho, you guys, brilliant stars. It looks like my best hope is gonna be from the trainer gallery here. And unfortunately, you know, this is, oh boy, my memory card filled up. If there is a good trainer gallery, I know everyone's gonna call me a cheater. Whatever, I know, I know my truth. I have not done anything. I just had to push the record button again. But can I get a trainer gallery, a good one? No, but technically a reverse rare, okay. And then a go lurk. There it is, um, Astral Radiance, come on. Let's change things up. I just knocked my red pack off. <laughs> Hopefully that's not a sign of things to come. But anywho, um, let's see if we can just get, okay, no, nope, never mind. I'll stop, I'll stop asking because clearly I have the bad luck. People do have bad luck in these Pokeref packs. It happens. Not everyone is pulling rainbows and full arts. It's it just those are the exciting packs and those are the packs we remember so then when you see these packs it's like oh that's right not everyone can be a winner but either way another reverse rare okay we got a Regirock and then a Vespiquen all hope is not lost we have a red pack let's see what it's gonna be in here my friends Cosmic Eclipse is what I'm kind of hoping for the most, but let's see. It is not. It is Ultra Prism. Okay, so from this set, I'm trying to think of what the big hitters are. I don't know off the top of my head. I believe it was Ultra Prism that I pulled the Rainbow Leafeon out of, so I think there might be a Rainbow Glaceon that would be cool to pull, or just the full art Leafeon and Glaceon. I know, we're, these are big asks, but like I said, I have to be honest and be honest with you that those are the ones I would like to pull the most, at least off the top of my head. So this is Sun and Moon, right? Yes. So we're still going four from the back. I don't even remember the old code cards anymore. I think that was a good code card, but I really don't know. It's, it hasn't been that long, but yet at the same time, like look at the old energy card, look at the looker, <laughs> look at the beautiful shield on. I've always loved that artwork. It's so pretty, so dreamy. I just love seeing these old cards that I haven't seen in forever. So land it. I mean, Ultra Prism is, it's one of those sets that I wish I could have opened more of. I went bananas and bought quite a few of the three pack blisters when they did a random reprint of it a couple years ago, but that's about it. So I'm excited. I don't think I have a lot of these cards. So this is great. We've got another Salandit uh, for a reverse and then we have got a Cresselia, is it? It is a hollow, yes. This, the Sun and Moon era hollow, it's so hard to see. But that's a beautiful Cresselia, and it doesn't look 
familiar to me, but I love the gate all lit up in the background with some kind of aurora going on in the sky. That's a beautiful, beautiful card. We pulled a hollow out of our red pack. That's exciting. I mean, listen, did I have I gotten my money's worth out of these Pokerev packs yet? No. But have I gotten excitement out of them? Oh, heck yes. And we're only a third of the way done. So like, let's not be sad yet. Let's not be forlorn. We are working our way to a silver pack, you guys. This is so exciting, truly. Chilling rain, it looks like we have a shot at something. Is there something good in here? Oh, does anyone else just, I, I, don't, I feel like I can't even really open up chilling rain with any sort of pleasure after all of the like i don't think i've opened up any set as much as i've opened up chilling rain just because they put it in all of the collection boxes and because it's like one of the cheapest sets because no one wants it because it's so hard to pull things from i shouldn't say it's one of the cheapest sorry i'm thinking of battle styles but either way tapu finny and then oh oh we got something my friends <laughs> if this is an alt art <laughs> It's not, but okay, we've got the Shadow Rider Calyrex V. It's a little sad just because, like said, I have gotten so fed up with Chilling Rain that I've bought all of these as singles at this point. I'm pretty sure, anyways, all of these full arts. It's just the alt arts that I'm looking for. However, this is a beautiful full art. It's so nice. Shadow Rider Calyrex V. It's very pretty. So, note to self, don't get to, I mean, listen, you can buy whatever cards you want as singles, that's up to you, and I usually just do it when I can see that I found one near mint below market price, because in my head that's the best I'm ever going to get it, but every now and then I end up pulling it after, but it's rare, I think it's only happened a couple of times where I have purchased it as a single and then I pulled it out of a pack not too long after, or just after at all. It's a sad feeling, but at the same time it happens so rarely that I think I can be okay with it. <laughs> Anywho, Fusion Strike, let's see what we can get. Anything good, any alt arts out of these Pokerev packs? I mean, as far as I know, he packages these just by pulling them up straight out of booster boxes, so you do have a good chance at pulling something. <sighs> There's a set with a Steelix Hollow that I don't have. This might be it. I actually don't think it is, but like, I'm gonna pretend and be happy about that Steelix Hollow. <laughs> There's a few random hollows that I'm like so stubbornly holding out on like I think there's one from Battle Styles, one of the Urshifus, and where I know they put so many of those packs in collection boxes. I'm like one of these days I have to pull. It's just a hollow. You know what I mean? So <laughs> there are a few hollows where I am holding out hope. So that Steelix might be one of them. Like I said, I don't think it is, but I know there's a set from Sword and Shield that I actually do need a hollow Steelix for. So let's, I guess time will tell in my binders later on when I'm putting this stuff away. But let's see what we got. Another reverse rare Flygon, okay. And then an Infernape. I actually really do like that hollow. I don't need this hollow. But I, it's a really nice looking hollow card. So let's see my friends. Let's see what we can do. Can we do any better than, I mean, like I said, I know it gets repetitive. I'm looking for alt arts and that's hard enough to do <laughs> just in general. But then to expect it out of one of these Pokerev packs, it's a little, I'm not expecting it. It's just that I've seen it happen. And so it makes me want it to happen for me too. <laughs> You know, I've seen other people's good luck. I just wish I could have some too. All right, a reverse rare Braviary and then, oh, an adorable little shaman encouraging me along and then flopping over because, <laughs> well, shaman has seen my luck so far. That's okay, I appreciate the encouragement. Thank you, shaman. Thank you very much. 
Now let's see what we can get out of this pack, my friends. Okay, but we still have the hopes of a trainer gallery pack, not pack, card, a trainer gallery card. Let's see if I can pull it. There's still some that I need, that's for darn sure. So let's see if we can do it in this one. I've got stuff falling all over the place. Is it a sign of excitement that I'm gonna get something good? Nope, nothing but damage to my little heart. But that's okay, we've got one last pack here. Let's see what we can get in our green pack. Ba -ba -da -ba! We have got a very schmooshed Brilliant Stars. Okay, let's see, hopefully, I mean, I do want something good out of here, but. Hopefully the cars aren't damaged. <laughs> it got very schmooshed. Let's see, okay, nope, well, there we go. That, that's that. <laughs> oh man, you guys, I'm feeling a little beat up, but that's okay. This is kind of another reason why I didn't necessarily wanna just open these when they came, two at a time, cause I kind of expected my luck was gonna be garbage, just cause that's always how I go into things. Expect the worst, hope for the best. Um, and I didn't want these to be terribly upsettingly boring and disappointing videos but you know at the same time i have no control we had hope we tried our best we kept on opening we have got a vivid voltage now let's see what is within time will tell we shall see anything shiny and good nope I mean, technically there still could be a shiny thing. This is the set with the amazing rares that I am so glad looking back. When those amazing rares first came out and we didn't know the rarity of them, I was so scared that they were gonna be so super rare. And there were so many points where on eBay, I was like looking at a full set of them for like $200. And I came so close. Well, hey, a reverse rare executor and then a two cannon. I came so close to purchasing those and my God, am I glad I held off. <laughs> I don't think any amazing rare goes for like more than $5, right? <laughs> so like, they're beautiful cards, don't get me wrong. I just, the fact that they were so common to pull, it took away from the mystique of them. For a lot of people but I love them I say keep keep bringing them on and I kind of love that they were easy to pull or easy ish to pull because it gave everyone a chance to own them I think that's fun you know I don't know <laughs> at least that's my take on it let's see my friends there's our reverse and there's our Volcarona what can we get from fusion strike anything good out of this one that's my hope, actually. My memory card was about to fill up, so I beat it to it. Ha ha. Now no one will think I'm a cheater. Ooh, it actually is a pack with something in it. Can it be an alt art? I don't think I've pulled any alt art from Fusion Strike yet, actually, now that I think about it. So uh, I think I'd be happy with any of them. Huh? Huh? Or even gold cards? I think this is the Golden Flaffy set. I would love to pull that card. Let's see what we can do, my friends. Another reverse rare and a Swampert Hollow. It's a nice hollow. I have it, but it's a nice hollow and I'm getting a lot of reverse rares. So I mean, that's one thing to say good job about, right? Not everyone would be so lucky. Not everyone cares about reverse rares, but I do. It's a part of my binder that I like filling up. So. Let's see what we can get, my friends, out of this pack. Anything good, please. I don't think it was a good code card, right? You'd think I'd be able to remember. This was like two seconds ago. <laughs> but let's see. Let's see what we can get. A mill tank, a reverse rare. Would you look at that? And then, I actually think it's from Lost Origin where I still need that card. The Basque Legion. I'm probably pronouncing it incorrectly. But Lost Origin, there are a lot of cards. Like I said, I think this is one where there are definitely some hollows and stuff that I still need. I would rather pull an alt art, but like, you know, <laughs> I'm trying to keep my options open here to be excited about anything, even below an alt art rarity, which is much more likely for me to pull. Okay, happy little Pokemon. Lots of tongues and happiness here. We've got a Gligar. And an <laughs> another Cresselia Hollow. I do have this one, but it's a lovely thing. I feel like Pokemon does good for Cresselia artworks. So let's see what we can get out of our red pack, my friends. Cosmic Eclipse. 
No, but hidden fates? Ha ha! Ha ha! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! We have chances at things. I don't even know. I mean, obviously, obviously, the Charizard. Everyone would want the Charizard. I would love any of the Evolutions the Umbreon, the Espeon the Glaceon, the Leafeon. Okay, this is X and Y, so it's only three. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> when it's been years since I've opened up Hidden Fates. Wow, wow. <laughs> what a treat, oh my gosh. Wow, I don't know, am I gonna get anything? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> But it's very exciting. Okay, so no, I think this is the slot where it would have been if you were to get something. But we did get a reverse rare wheezing with James in the background. And then, oh, there's two more. Didn't I do this? Isn't Hidden Fa is it Sun and Moon? It is, isn't it? Or is it, I don't know why. Eh. Call me an imposter, whatever you would like. We are on to our final wave, our final stack. Now I'm questioning it. It was sun and moon, wasn't it? It was totally sun and moon. Okay, well, either way. Can I pull the Charizard VMAX? Let's turn my luck around. I haven't, as exciting as it was to open up those red packs, you know, I still didn't have great luck with them. Oh, okay, we're, we're playing that game. I don't know, that felt like kind of a thick card, but I, I would like to turn my luck around. Can I get things? Can I get that Charizard VMAX? I don't think so. I think I'm, I'm seeing the lineup of the cards here and they all look like yellow borders. <laughs> but hey, Darkness Ablaze, it's a set that we don't get to open often anymore. We've got, they're not miscut, but they're definitely a little off center there. That's something, right? cute set. It's been a minute, Darkness Ablaze. And then the not Charizard VMAX, just as I expected. Okay, Chilling Rain. What do you got for me? Can we turn it around? I mean, just even something like, just something as simple as the alternate art Moltres. <laughs> Galarian Moltres. Um, it would really turn things, okay, I know. It was greedy, I know, but I wanted to try, okay? I wanted to try and keep the hope alive. Uh, throw me a bone, okay? <laughs> I'm trying my best here, but let's see. Okay, my friends, what can we get out of a uh, Chilling Rain bad code card pack? Not, not much. Like I said, maybe there's a reverse that I don't already own. A reverse rare, would you look at that? I am, if nothing else, I am very lucky with the reverse rares today. <laughs> it's not what I wanted to be lucky with, but it is what it is. So, Evolving Skies. Can I? Nope. Okay, well, I had a chance. I had a chance. <sighs> it's another set that I have not pulled. Okay, my memory card filled up. I have no idea if there's anything in here, but uh, we've got memory cards filling up. My camera looks like it's gonna die soon. I, <sighs> I hope my luck is not also dying along with all of these things. Let's see what we have out of this set. We have got a Cryogonal and then an Altaria, non holo rare, okay. Fusion Strike. I think I was saying, I think out of all the modern sets, am I lying about this? I think out of all the modern sets, Lost Origins, Fusion Strike, and Evolving Skies are the only sets where I have not pulled an alternate art. I think? That's not true, Evolving Skies, haven't, I've, I've not pulled Evolution alternate arts, there we go. Ooh, quite, quite off center for sure. Um, Cause I was gonna say, I have pulled the Ray Ray, I have pulled the Dragonite, like Cassie, come on now, you've been lucky in your own way. You just haven't pulled any Evolutions, and I know that makes it feel like you haven't pulled any, but let's not be that down on ourselves. You have pulled things. You have. Now let's see, can I get anything? 
Brilliant Stars. Is that Charizard V Star in here? That would be amazing. Or just any card that I don't already have. That is always best case scenario. Let's see. We will only find out by going through the cards. What is behind this Magmar? There's something, but I think it's just a V card. But it's a Kingler V, and I actually might not have this card. So I'm going to pretend I don't have that card. Yay! <laughs> Sorry, now I'm all nervous that things are filling up and things are gonna... I'm just nervous all of a sudden. My friends were getting down to the end of it. It's a very sad time. But let's see, what do we have here? A chilling rain. Oh no. Let's see, if it's an alt art, if somehow he was able to put an alt art in the little mystery bonus bag. Okay, well, I wanted to be excited. <laughs> let's see what we can get. Let's kind of quickish roll go through these i've got pretty yeah quite a few of these are pretty off center how interesting we got a reverse rare and a slur puff what a surprise it's not a surprise it's not at all literally not at all okay let's see my friends can we get anything this is our final poke rev pack mystery mega bonus pack this is it this is all we got I don't know. I don't know. We devolved from Substrika. Okay, I think I see something. No, maybe it was just this Leon. Oh no, there's something. What is this? What is it's vivid voltage. I don't really Okay. <laughs> That's right, VMAXs. VMAXs haven't been a thing for a minute. I feel like, you know, there's like one per set lately. So I, that wasn't even on my radar of what that could be. Interesting. Okay, well, I certainly have that card, but hey, it's something, right? We do have to count our blessings here. So let's see what's gonna be in this Chilling Rain pack. I think it was a bad code card, wasn't it? I'm sorry, I've got, I've got things. We've got a doctor. Okay, well, uh, we're gonna move on to Evolving Skies. Can we get something good? Sorry, I know some people open up packs really quickly. I tend to enjoy not because I like to actually enjoy the artworks and stuff, but sometimes, like I said, things start running out like batteries and memory cards and the clock and whatnot, and I just, I do my best. I do what I can. Oh, the cutest little Pikachu. And then we've got a Victini, a reverse rare. What is, it's not a, I'm doing great with the reverse rares, okay? I've gotta give myself that, if nothing else. <laughs> okay, Snubble, what you got in here? I think that's not a good code card. Um, yeah, no, that feels pretty, pretty thick. Feels like a thick boy. Those look like some off-center cards, my goodness. Look at that, that's that's crazy, okay. Okay, cool, cool to get those. I actually, I do, I enjoy some miscut cards every now and then. A Latias for a reverse rare, and then a Sandcastle for a non holo rare. We are getting close to that silver pack. Oh my gosh, I mean, we could, we could turn things around here, my friends. Oof, I mean, I'm getting really unlucky with these Pocky Rev packs. <laughs> Aside from the fact that I did get lucky enough to be able to open a couple of red packs, overall this has been pretty bad <laughs> otherwise. <laughs> That's for darn sure, but that is unfortunately a reverse rare, the way things are. It has come down to this, my friends. We have got a silver pack. Can we, I just, I don't even know, I have never, I have never opened, I don't think, wasn't this black and white it was supposed to be or something like that from silver? This is very sealed. Okay. What do we have? What do we have? Black and white base. That's insane. That's insane. Like, I don't even know what to say. When is this from? When is this from? 2011. Do you see that? Two, this is 11 years old, this pack. That's insane. To even, like, that's, that's really something special. That's amazing. I'm gonna try and preserve this pack with our Zekrom on the front. I don't even know what you wanna pull from a black and white base. 
Um, I don't know what a pack trick would be. Do we do two? I feel like the older sets, it's two. Have I ruined everything by even attempting a pack trick? It's possible. It's possible. <laughs> oh my god. Just like even seeing the little symbol in the bottom corner, this is so exciting to me. This is, wow. We've got a girder, a clink. I like, I don't even know what to say, you guys. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm so excited. Even though the black and white era of Pokemon is one of my least favorites, like in terms of the new Pokemon that were released, it's still really exciting to me. I've still gotten to like fall in love with these little weirdos <laughs> from the generations that I have missed out on. All right, we got a reverse starter. We got a reverse Snivy there. Um, so I probably did the pack trick all sorts of wrong. Um, but behind this, we have got a Darmanitan. Okay, for a non hollow rare but that's okay and then we got some kind of a okay it's a it's a code card there you go you guys that's a that's an old code card and a tranquil wow look at that look at that what a freaking treat what a freaking treat i had horrible luck okay let's get that straight <laughs> When it comes down to it, I spent way more on these packs than I got out of it. That's, yep, that, you can't argue on that. But to have been able to pull one of the silver tier packs, and even to get two of the red tier packs, like, I'm just, I'm feeling very lucky, even though I am also feeling unlucky about my pulls, I still feel lucky that I got to do this at all. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you, PokeRev, for putting these packs together. Like I said, I'm just happy to have been able to open these at all. And thank you guys for watching. Always leave me comments down below. Have you opened up any PokeRev packs? Have you gotten lucky with any of them? Um, let me and everyone else know. You can also, of course, thumbs up the video like usual, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until next time, I hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, stay well until then. Bye!